Hey folks, welcome back. In this chapter, or this video, we're going to talk about publishing with Dreamweaver. Let's jump right into Dreamweaver. Now, as a habit, I actually do tend to use an FTP client to publish only because I like to have total control over the files, see where they're going, that sort of a thing. But Dreamweaver does have a nice convenient method for putting files up to the site. Provided you get the correct information from your web host and enter that information correctly. And that's why I'm providing a video. Let's, uh, first of all, there's two things you need to do when publishing a site with Dreamweaver. You need to define or set up a new publishing destination. And then once that publishing destination is created, then you can connect to it and upload your files. So let's go through the two processes. The first thing is creating a new publishing destination. One of the easiest ways to do this is right from the local files panel. Up here in the top right, we have the local view, which is where it's going to be set. Switch that over to remote server. You'll see a link, define a remote server. Click that. It's going to open up your publishing options or your servers panel here. By default, the little add new server will be highlighted in blue. Click it. You'll need to fill in the following information from your web host. When you sign up with web hosting, your web host will send you an email providing all these details. Make sure you copy that information exactly. Anything that any missteps in copying and pasting, you're not going to be able to publish. So the first thing is a server name. This can be anything you like. It's only for your local reference. Okay. The next thing is you need to change the connecting connect using, change it over to FTP if it's set to anything else. If your web host specifies a port, enter that information here. Typically port 21 is the default number. Your FTP address. Typically you can just type in the, the domain name unless something else is specified. Like so. Under the username and password, this information is what's provided by your web host for your FTP username and password. And the root directory, this is also very important, this is the folder to which you're going to be publishing your files to. In this example, we'll be publishing to HTTP docs. And I'll enter my username and password. Once that's done, what I suggest you do is hit the test button first, or next, I should say. It's going to try to connect. Dreamweaver connected to your web server successfully. Excellent. That's a great sign. That means that you could hit the save button and save again. It's going to create a cache. Let it do that. Great. Now that you have created that uh, server connection, you can now connect to your remote website. And to do that, flip over to the remote server and hit the connect to remote server. What that'll do is it's going to show you the files that are on the server, not the files that are in your local site. As you see right here, I've got a lot of stuff in here because I use this as a testing bed for everything. Okay. If I switch back over to local view, it's going to show me my local files. If I switch over to the remote view, there you go. It shows me all my remote files. So what we're going to do is put it back to local view, and then we can use this little puppy right here, this, sorry, this um, put files to remote server. You click that, and it's going to take everything in your list here and put it up to the server. After you've done that the first time, you can actually use the sync with remote server afterwards um, just to synchronize any files that have been updated. 